relates to Dairy Queen. <laughs> you've, you've talked about it a lot, so the, here are some nuggets that we didn't get. Uh, thank you, Jason, for the question. Did you know it was being taped? Uh, no, no. Okay. No. Who was in the car with you? Who was, was Brian Hildebrand, Mark Curtis, was he driving? Um, I think he no. may have, or who was, who was he driving? He was being, actually being taped by... Uh, uh, it was being taped by Ron Hitt. Oh, okay. It, right. Jericho was sitting in the back. I thought it was being taped by Jericho. Jericho no. takes credit for it, but he Ron does. Head had the video camera. Okay. Ron Head was, it was uh, this gentleman from, from California that had come out for Fan Week that since moved to Louisville and did some ring announcing for us in OVW. He's been a friend of mine for, you know, 15 years. I thought he was a friend of mine. He'd take this shit. And uh, my wife, she knew him from California year, years before that. He had his video camera there that night, and it was me, and it was... Mark Cowell, Killer Cowell, and Brian Hildebrand, Mark Curtis, and uh, I think Jimmy Del Rey was in the van. Jericho was back there. Ron Head was back there. We had come from a show at the Richard M. Nixon Center in Hyden, Kentucky. They were supposed to be heavily promoted by our local uh, sponsors there and did a massive uh, gate of like 300 people in this giant building. And then we leave after this financial, you know, fiasco that I'd gone through. And we're all driving back to Knoxville. It's 180 miles. It's like 11 o'clock at night. The only place to eat in Hyden, Kentucky, open to get anything that's even been remotely cooked that day and resembles food was Dairy Queen. So we sit in this line, and we order at the speaker. And by the time the line ekes around, it's been almost 20 minutes from the time we ordered to the time that we got to the window. So I remember I was in a pasture seat, and I think Brian was driving. We might watch we'll this, see, and we'll yeah. see. But anyway, I idly, and you'll see this now, I'm going to explain this, because I did not just go off at random at these people. They say that'll be $42, because it's like eight wrestlers in advance. We ordered a lot of shit. And Jericho got the, you know, the banana split without the ice cream, because he's on a diet or some special order. I don't know what the fuck. <laughs> so anyway, um, as we're handing over the food, I said, idly said, I thought in a jocular way, well, as long as we've been in line, we thought you'd have that ready. And the woman says, well, we'll start fixing it right now. I said, whoa, 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 wait, wait, you start fixing it right now? Well, we weren't sure you wanted it. I said, what do you think is a fucking rib? And then Jericho chimes in in the back, yeah, it's the comedy bus, right? I said, what do you think? We wouldn't have ordered the damn shit if we didn't want it. We've been sitting here 20 minutes and you haven't even started this massive order we just made. Sir, you cuss me and you won't get a damn thing. Here we go. Just like when TNA sent me the lawyer's letter, it said, be confidential. I'll show you confidential, motherfucker. Don't tell me. I won't get a damn thing when I'm trying to give you $40, probably the biggest order this goddamn Dairy Queen in Hyden, Kentucky has ever taken in at one time, and they think we're fucking ribbing them. So, therefore, boom, shit. Here we go. Went from there. Uh, and you know those, those two, two, double, two double cheese? The two double cheeseburgers were extra cheese only, nothing else on them. Just extra cheese only, that's good. Extra cheese, nothing else on them. We figured you had that already by the time we got up here. <laughs> Didn't know what? Didn't know whether to fix it or not. We wouldn't have ordered it if we didn't want it fixed, goddamn! Oh. Who the fuck is this? fucking comedy show? Hey, you You know what? Hey! What the fuck? You goddamn cousin You know, she was cousin to him. She wasn't even cousin to me now that I look at this again. There we go. Hey! We ordered the damn shit! But we're hungry, not because we wanted to fuck around. Don't cuss me! Ugly, Just clarify. <laughs> Candido and Tammy were inside of the counter. Line, you stupid son of a bitch. Anyway, we order goddamn thirty dollars worth of fucking food and sit here for fifteen minutes and they don't even start fixing till we get up here because they think we're fucking joking. We just sit here. That's the manager. Minutes. I'm telling. By the way, he's wondering what's going on. He's out. Oh, sorry, sir. I couldn't see who was driving. Fucking little cunt. Damn straight. <laughs> we didn't start a fucking thing. <laughs> I thought we were joking. 15 fucking minutes. Gotta drive 200 fucking miles. I thought we were joking. Look at them. God yeah. damn it. <laughs> You're stooches. Oh, I tell you, Mo. <laughs> Why is that funny every time I see it? 
It's overplayed. I know, guys. I know what the fucking board is going to say. I know. I know. I, it's I, I used funny to have every time you see it. It's like, well, who's on first? Fifteen years ago, I used to have people at the <clears throat> WWF house shows in the third row of ringside chanting, "Dairy Queen, Dairy Queen." But once again, simple matter of competence at your job. <sighs>